Hi there, it's Gabriel here, SEO manager at Hike SEO. And in this video, we'll be talking about keyword research tips, how to find valuable keywords to target for your content, for your website, and ultimately for your business so that you can get higher rankings and more organic traffic to your site. So let's dive in. What you'll learn in this video is what keyword research is all about, why it's important for your SEO and your business as a whole, We'll be talking about the three pillars of keyword research, plus a bonus one that I'm going to sneak in there for you, and the main process for doing keyword research step by step. All right, let's get started. So what is keyword research? Keyword research is the process of identifying and analyzing the words or phrases known as keywords or keyword phrases or search terms that people use when searching for information for products or services on search engines. So it's basically when you go to Google and you type in a phrase or a word or two that you want to start searching from, that is a keyword. And it, it doesn't have to be singular, a word. It can be multiple words. That's what we know as a keyword, a keyword phrase. Same thing. So the purpose of keyword research is to determine which keywords are relevant and valuable for a particular website or online business or offline business that is online to optimize the site's content and to increase its visibility and search engine results pages. So we want to make sure that when we create content that it's aligned to what your audience is searching for. That's the ideal purpose of what why we're doing keyword research in the first place. So why is it important? Firstly, it's to understand your audience. We want to identify the terms that your audience um, your audience uses to search. So it could be specific words, it could be specific phrases that you might not even know right now, but you'll find out when you do keyword research. It's also to create content that better resonates with their needs and their preferences. And finally, it also refines your offering to better serve and add value to your audience. So keyword research is really the ground starting point to SEO. It's one of the most important things that you can do. Uh, there's many other parts to SEO that, is, that are important, but keyword research is the fundamental. So we're going to be going really into this. We're going to be talking about why the relevance and targeting, why that's important. So the, it also ensures that your content is relevant to your audience, um, more likely for your audience to engage with your content and other pages on your website. So if a page is matches closely to a term, a phrase that your audience is searching for and the content is aligned with that, your content is highly likely to read that and digest that content and engage with it. Whereas if they land on a page that doesn't really relate to it, they're probably going to leave it and find somewhere else that does answer their question or fulfills their need. So ultimately, relevance and targeting is really important. That's what keyword research helps with. And it leads to higher conversions as well because it's relevant. So they'll engage and they'll go to the next step and ultimately lead to a, a lead or a sale. Competition analysis is also important reason why keyword research is there so it allows you to evaluate your competition for specific keywords it also sets priorities of content to create and in what order to create it in and allows you to focus on the low-hanging fruit keywords and succeed faster so it allows you to start on those ones that can those keywords that can rank a lot quicker because there's low competition but also they have good search volume so it allows you to almost have an x-ray into the minds of your audience as a whole in your specific industry or niche. And that is one of the biggest things that keyword research can bring to you. Content creation and optimization. So keyword research can also identify content gaps and opportunities um, across the competitors and also on your own site. It allows you to create valuable, relevant and engaging content for your audience and it gives you a map of content to create making your planning very simple when it comes to content creation 
improved search engine rankings. It also allows you to optimize a page for specific keyword, making it more relevant to the reader and improves their overall experience of landing in your site and reading your content. And this leads to overall higher rankings because of the signals generated from that, such as lower bounce rate, higher time on page, more pages visited on that website, and a lot of other factors. Resource allocation and ROI or return on investment. So keyword research helps you prioritize your SEO efforts and allocate your resources more effectively because you know which keywords you're going to target, which pages to create, which pages to optimize for which keywords and allows you to focus on high value keywords to maximize your ROI. So high value keywords are keywords that are relevant, that have a high search volume and have ideally low competition. So let's go into the three pillars of keyword research. So firstly, keyword relevance. So I hinted on them just before this, but keyword relevance is really, really important. It's number one. So how closely a keyword aligns with your website's content, products, or services, or industry, or niche. Um, so this is really important. So let's say you're talking about, um, let's say you're in the plumbing industry, and you're talking about how to fix a broken pipe. So the keyword that would be highly relevant would be exactly that, how to fix a broken pipe. A keyword that would be less relevant would be pipes because it could be, it's quite vague and it's not really relevant. So you want a high relevant uh, of, you want a high relevance of keyword to that page, to the topic that you're talking about. So make sure to select the keywords that are highly relevant to your target audience and their search intent. There's no point talking about cats and dogs if you're in, let's say the plumbing industry, unless it has a direct correlation. So you want to be straight on point when it comes to what content, what keywords you, that you're talking about. Keyword search volume is the second pillar. And basically it's the average number of times a keyword is searched for on a search on search engines per month. So average monthly searches is another term for it. Uh, but basically it's a measure of, of that number. So you can look at that column in your keyword research tool and you can say, oh, wow, this keyword has 5,000 uh, searches per month on average, or this one has 10,000, or this one only has 10, for example. So high search volume equals high demand. And that gives you an indication how important it is because the more searches, the more potential traffic um, from those searches can go to your site if you rank really high for that keyword. So it's essential to balance search volume with relevance and difficulty. A general trend or rule of thumb is the more vague, the more general a keyword is, the more searches it generally has and vice versa. The more searches a keyword has tends to be the more vague it is. So you want to balance this depending on what topic you're talking about. And it's always a balancing game when it comes to this. So the third one is keyword difficulty score, and this has to do with competition. Um, so also known as keyword competition or keyword difficulty, this estimates how challenging it would be to rank for a specific keyword. And it's a score and there's different tools have different measurements or different ways of showing this, but it's a score that is in many different keyword research tools. So you want to go for obviously the lowest difficulty as possible. So lower score means it's much easier to rank on page one or in the top three results uh, for that specific keyword. Now I'm going to be talking about a bonus one, and this isn't really part of the core three, but it's an extra one that I'm going to sneak in here because it does add value. So this is called about, this is called keyword value. And we're going to be looking at the cost per click or CPC value or the bid value that search advertisers are currently paying. So not every keyword research tool might have this. So you might have to look around, but if it does, if it's, if you see something like bid value or CPC, this is what it is. And it basically tells you what advertisers are paying for search ads. And this gives you basically an indication 
how valuable that keyword is and how profitable it is from a commercial perspective. So higher bid values equals a higher commercial value. So let's say it's talking, let's say the keyword is car insurance. That has a really, really high uh, keyword value because advertisers are willing to bid 50 uh, 50 dollars 50 pounds per click even up to like a hundred pounds per click um, it's ridiculous and so if you are able to rank a page on page one or in the top three results for that organically then that position is a lot more valuable than a keyword that let's say has um, 50 cents or 50 pence per um, click value so you have to looking at that will also give you an indication about keyword value. Let's talk about the keyword research process and we're going to go through the five different steps. So step one is to choose the seed keywords. So seed keywords are like the initial topics that are used to generate the additional keyword ideas from using the keyword research tool that you have available. So you want to make a list of seed keywords to start from and this can be Anything from the pro products that you have, the services you have, the industry, the topics that you'll talk about, you need to basically come from your knowledge of what you know about your business, your industry, your topics, and brainstorm as much as you can. And these are starting points for your keyword research. So it needs to be exhaustive, it needs to go into detail, and just drop them down on a spreadsheet um, or a document and make them as long as possible. You can group them together in different areas, however you want to do it, but make sure that you cover everything possible that your business does or is about or that can talk about or all the knowledge areas that you have in that industry. So the ne next step is to generate the keywords. Um, so you would use a keyword research tool such as the one in Hike um, and that one uh, you can go in and you enter your seed keyword phrase, your initial topic, and you can generate additional keyword ideas and data for those. You can look at the average monthly searches for that, the competition score, uh, all of this. And so you would go through that list that's generated and then you would shortlist and save all of the relevant keywords in that list for later. And just focus on relevance for now because we'll filter out um, the data later. So in terms of uh, search volume or difficulty score just don't be too selective in the beginning we can always filter keywords out later but right now in this step we want to focus on whether it's relevant to your business to the services that you offer to the knowledge that you want to share so that's this step so i want to quickly jump to hikes keyword research tool and this allows you to basically come up with keyword data that you can start from. So you would enter your new keyword here and then it would generate a list on the right side um, of all the different keywords that relate to that. And it tells you the search volume, the difficulty score. And there's also a little tab on the left you'll see called suggested keywords. And this is a AI assisted suggestions based on the business category that you first selected when you signed up to hike. And this gives you a little basically prompt or indication a head start of some ideas if you're not sure where to begin if you don't have a seed keyword list so definitely check out suggested keywords as well so once you do that your shortlist is here and you can basically see all the keywords that you've shortlisted the difficulty score the search volume and you can also look at the review column so if you hover over uh, there's either a check mark uh, or a question mark and these, this basically tells you if it's relevant to your business or not. So it gives you a little hint whether to keep it or to chuck it away. And you can also remove keywords from here as you filter it out. Uh, so it's really useful and it uses AI, um, specifically ChatGPT, to go through this list and make sure that the keywords that you've selected is relevant for your business. Step three is filtering. So this is where you'll go through and filter out all the keywords that are a good balance between relevance, search volume, and difficulty score in that order of importance. So you want it highly relevant to the topics or the products or the services that you have. You want it to have as high as possible 
search volume without sacrificing the relevance that much or if any. And then you want to obviously pick the lowest possible difficulty scores so you can easily rank for those. Step four is clustering. So this is where you would cluster your keywords into topic groups. So a lot of the keywords that you go through and and come up with might be super similar, might be different variations or phrasings of the same topic. So you want to group these together. And this allows you to see which keywords deserve a dedicated page that targets that and which ones can be grouped into the same page. Um, and I would just use a spreadsheet, um, Google, Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel or anything like that or OpenOffice, um, whatever you use. And you can group them together and cluster them into groups. Some groups might only have one keyword. That's fine. Others, you might have like five or ten that are extremely similar that all could be just one page, if you know what I mean. So that basically is the purpose of clustering. Next is prioritizing. And prioritizing keywords based on the business needs as well as how valuable the keywords are is this step. So you want to make sure that you can either do, there's no right or wrong to do this, but let's say your business goal is to roll out specific number of services. So you might want to start keywords that focus on the services that you offer or the products that you offer. Or maybe you already have that taken care of and your priority is to expand beyond that and go into blog content, more informational pieces. So then your goal would be to focus more on the informational keywords or specific topics around your industry. So how you prioritize your keywords in terms of which pages to start assigning them to, or which pages to create based on those, really depends on your goals. So you need to be clear on, okay, which area of my business needs the most growth? Um, which area of my site needs the most growth? And then from there, you know which keywords, which topics to start focusing on. So those are the five steps and they're really simple to go through. But if you follow them in that way, you have a strategy for your keyword research that can lead to effective results. So thanks so much for watching. If you do have any questions about keyword research in general, um, do let me know. If you haven't tried a Hike keyword research tool, definitely sign up to Hike. Uh, a fantastic tool, makes it super simple for small businesses um, as well as agency owners uh, to go in and do keyword research within Hike. And uh, yeah, there's a 14-day money-back guarantee. So sign up, that's risk-free, try it out, see how you like it, and then go, for, go from there. All right, I will see you in the next video. Take care.